First, a lot of people might be surprised about how much their employers know about them. There are all sorts of AI hiring tools out there, and many people who work from home are being closely monitored. Employers also use many different tools, like having robots screen 75% of the resumes submitted to Fortune 500 companies. Hilka Shellman is an Emmy Award-winning investigative journalist and an assistant professor at NYU, and her new book is The Algorithm, How AI Decides Who Gets Hired, Monitored, Promoted, and Fired, and Why We Need to Fight Back Now. Hilka is with us. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. So AI screening resumes. What's wrong with yes. that? That doesn't seem harmful. You know, I mean, on, on the outset, it seems like a good idea, right? And a lot of companies get millions of, of resumes, so they want a technological tool. But but when I started looking into this and talking to employment lawyers and, and other folks, they found that, for example, one resume screener was uh, giving folks who had the word baseball on their resume more points and folks who had the word softball on their resume fewer points. So that sounds like gender discrimination in oh. the U.S., right? Because more men uh, may put the word baseball on their resume and, and more women put the word softball on their right. resume. Right. And this op had nothing to do uh, with any kind of sports. We also found resume screeners uh, predict that the word Thomas uh, makes you uh, more qualified for for a job, which of course is uh, is rubbish. Oh. Um, seen uh, you know words like Canada and Syria uh, that were that were predictors of success, um, and uh, you know that might be discrimination based on national origin. So the problem is like if you know vendors and and developers who build these tools, they're not closely monitoring it. Uh, you know easily some of these uh, biased keywords that we call them or proxies can come in and 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 right. really um, you know cause harm to folks. What about the idea of being surveilled at work? I mean, people might think, OK, there's a camera in the hallway or maybe in the office building. But when people are working from home, they're being watched. Yeah. So people who are being being at home, but but even also at at work, any work computer in the United States, really what you do on that is uh, is belongs usually to the company and you shouldn't have any, uh, uh, you know, hope of, of privacy. And what we've seen are that companies use predictions of flight risk. How likely are you going to leave the company um, within the next year? Uh, we also know that uh, eight out of the largest 10 companies in the United States uh, monitor their employees, like every keystroke. Um, they may use uh, screenshots on your camera that, that you're at your desk. We also know that large companies like Walmart, Delta, T-Mobile, and others use work with a startup that checks employees Slack, email, Zoom, Teams uh, for employee sentiment and infractions. So it looks at like it can, it, it, the company says it can identify bullying, harassment, discrimination, Non-compliance, pornography, nudity, and and other things, and it will then, uh, you, you know, an AI will will check for those signals and then um, move it up the ladder. You know, maybe alert HR or uh, yeah. send send an email to uh, IT, and they may investigate. And looking through social media as well. So I'm wondering yeah. if um, if this is not illegal, do you think it should be? I mean, I think we really need guardrails on this because I think one of the uh, the the problems is like you know um, uh, people are allowed, for example, to form unions, um, and and this kind of behavior might be tricked up, and you know the the AI might find some of those signals, so that could really be illegal. And I do think that like uh, some of the stuff we don't even know if it works, right? We don't actually know if AI can identify bullying and harassment, um, and I think it could really harm um, employees, and it certainly erodes the trust between an employer and an employee, right? right. Um, but we have the signals that are out there. You know, we have the technology to check this. So I think a lot of companies feel like, oh, we just want to use it. Does it actually work? We we don't know. And I think you really uh, lose trust. And there is obviously uh, a huge problem here that I think we should put in some guardrails. Um, quickly quickly from before we let you go, give us an idea. If you are submitting a resume, is there something you could put on there that would kind of thwart the AI and make a person look at that resume? Um, so I think maybe consider using AI to take some power back as an as an uh, uh, job seeker. So maybe use a you you can use a chatbot to write your cover letter, uh, to polish your resume, right? Help you elevate that that uh, uh, resume. Also use like really short sentences so that so that a machine can read it, uh, and maybe use ChatGPT um, to ask them like what are the most common questions in interviews, what are the most common answers, so you can practice. So I think uh, you know we know that employers use AI. 
AI. So now we see job seekers use AI and we see a lot of people sort of chuckle and be like, oh yeah, AI against AI, may the best AI win. Mm. Um, so we don't know who's gonna win. Yeah. Um, We'll see, right? The book is The Algorithm, yeah. How AI Decides Who Gets Hired, Monitored, Promoted, and Fired, and Why You Need to Fight Back Now. You can get more at Hilka's website or follow her on X. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me.